Hello, back in. Welcome to another testing or trials with Andy Tuesday. As it's Tuesday. Today we'll be trying out two backpacks. We've got cheap one, which is this old Van Gogh Contour, Van Gogh Contour, 60 plus 10. And there's also, there's another one called the Sherpa, which is really similar. I'm not sure of the difference because I haven't had the Sherpa. This is my, this is my old Van Gogh backpack, which you see I've still got. I never throw anything away, mate. And the other one is the popular choice of a lot of people, is the Osprey Atmos. Where does it tell you? Where does it tell you what it is? Atmos 65 AG. Now, because that says plus 10 on the bottom of that, 60 plus 10, right? I think. This is the plus 10, this bottom pocket. Doesn't say that on the Atmos. Right. I'm not going to go into sizing and all that. It's got the anti gravity back harness system, which has got the air mesh, which is very, very, it's quite good in the summer. It's not perfect, but it's good. This one has a totally adjustable back, so you can, adjust it, you can adjust it to the right length. So you just pull that up and down, you put it, try it on a couple of times, and then shift this whole thing and it can be it can be like a long back or a short back, but it's good. So let's start with this one. I always liked this backpack. And I don't know. Get it on. Right. So to start with, the thing, the difference is the side pockets. As in, it hasn't got any. Doesn't have the side pockets there, so for some people that's not a problem. Like me, oh, I don't really miss the side pockets. I don't really use the other ones. It's fully adjustable. It's got the uh, this one with your little emergency whistle. Hey, Christ, I can't right through you. That. Right, so it's fully adjustable. It's a comfortable pack. I always found that I got a bit discomfort here, a little bit of discomfort here after um, after a long hike when it's full, especially when there's a bit of weight, it pulls down on you a bit. But I don't know if that was just me. But the straps are really thick. I mean, there's loads of padding on them and the waist belt as well. That's really thick, thick padding. I mean, it's a good bag. price of it and the other thing is it's massive inside it's cavernous it's huge you can get all your stuff in there right so what I'm gonna do is wait there I've got me um, me wrap sleeping bag right this is a down bag I'm going to try and get this. That's how I store my bag, by the way. Hang it up on a clothes hanger and just let it hang. And you can uh, use the two, use the two bottom loops there to hang it up on itself again. So you've got it hanging in the wardrobe like that on a coat hanger. That's ideal. Keeps it lofted. Doesn't compress it. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to stuff this into the Van Gogh bag and then after that I'll try it in the Osprey bag and see what they look like. It should be alright. Right, so put that bag in there now. And there's still, as you see, still 
There's loads of room at the top of the bag there. So with all that space there, you can fasten it up. I'll find the strap. Lost the strap. And in the bottom pocket, you could get your sleep mat easily in there. Look at that, with the sleep, the sleeping mat in. So we're back with the Osprey. That's the, that's it for the sleeping bag in. So you've got the sleeping bag in the main compartment. You can push that right down. Push it right down and get all your other stuff in there. The top pocket, again, Huge, more, more rubbish bags, leave no trace. This top pocket is massive. I put everything in there. I put the torch, head torch, the tent light, um, pillow, first aid kit, loads. You can get loads in that top pocket there. Rubbish bags. And then you've got this big front panel here. Stretch from the panel. You've got these side bits, which I like about this bag because you can actually use them, they're functional. I've got a bag on. Keep your delta pegs in there. Delta pegs. Alright. So in the bottom is the X bed mat again. That's the bottom there, the X bed mat in. It's absolutely massive. I put my um, I put my mat in there. My jet ball sits in the corner. My little table. The um, my cooking kit. Loads, loads of stuff goes in this bottom pocket here. So mainly, this compartment here is for my sleeping bag. And I get my down jacket in. Um, a t-shirt, clean t-shirt, base layer, and all that. And then the cans of beer. <laughs> Just a pile of cans of beer in there. Taking a chance putting beer in, but as long as you remember there, as long as you remember that they're there and you don't throw your bag around, they're quite protected in, inside the sleeping bag. Not everybody's cup of tea, but it's just what I do. And you got that top of your head on, that top flap on there. This, this actually completely detaches, so you can have like a Day pack. I think this has um, it's got little clips in as well, so you can clip it. You can clip it and have it as like a, a half size bag. And these clips inside. So you can do away with the top, with the lid all together. You can take that off. If you're not going to use it for a big trek, but I normally just keep it, keep it on. I've never used that. I'm just looking at the website again. I'll get that thing. Here we go. The Osprey Atmos AG 65, 160 quid, 160. Go outdoors, and they've got different colours. I don't think they do that green one anymore. Actually, quite like the grey one. 160 quid. Can I see that? So, that's it. So, to sum up, if you want a good bag for first time camping, just setting off that Van Gogh contour or the Sherpa, they're both Duke of Edinburgh approved. They're, they're great. They're Cavernous them bags, massive. For the price of that, I think you're going to be paying maximum 70 quid. It's a good bag, it's lasted very, I mean, I've had that for about 10 years. 10 years, I could still, I could still use that. In fact, I do, I use that when I go to the, uh, the forest. But if you want to upgrade, and you've got your eye on an Osprey, this is the bag. The bag of choice for loads of campers. 65. I've got to mention it's got this, it's got the pockets on the side. It's got a good fit belt.
good strap system, it's really easy to use, on and off. You know, it's got the, uh, it's got the whistle. The most, all backpacks should have that. I've got a tick twister on mine. But it's a good fit, you know. It's a comfortable bag, this. I can walk for miles with this bag and it just, it's just always comfortable. That's the difference between this and the Van Gogh for me. This one's always comfortable. Ah, oh. I did get a rain cover with that, but I've took it off. Um, this one has a rain cover. There you go. Staring at it. It's got the rain cover in the top. And the Van Gogh one has a bright orange rain cover, which I used on another. Um, I used on another backpack and I left it on there. But you do get a rain cover with it. So for 65 quid, 70 quid, you can't go wrong with the Van Gogh backpack. Boom.